So I get it why people are looking to shake things up. I mean, I am the hopey changey guy. So, so I understand people feeling frustrated and feeling we can do better. What I cannot understand is why anybody would think that Donald Trump will shake things up in a way that is good for you, Pennsylvania. I don't understand that. Because there is absolutely no evidence that this man thinks about anybody but himself. I've said it before. Donald Trump is a 78-year-old billionaire who has not stopped whining about his problems since he rode down his golden escalator nine years ago. We are you know, heartbroken about the loss of life in Florida, North Carolina, states across the Southwest. We are thinking about people, families whose lives have been upended by the storms over the last couple of weeks. Uh, I could not be more grateful for the first responders and FEMA professionals who have put themselves in harm's way to try and help. You know, it, it, it's times like this when you realize having honest, competent leadership in government really matters. Hundreds of people killed. And President Biden and Vice President Harris were down there meeting with local officials and comforting families, asking how they could help. And Donald Trump at a rally just started making up stories about the Biden administration withholding aid from Republican areas and, and siphoning off aid to give to undocumented immigrants just made the stuff up. Everybody knew it wasn't true. Somebody who has served with distinction in every office. The idea of intentionally trying to deceive people in their most desperate and vulnerable moments. And my question is, when did that become okay? I, I, I'm not looking for applause right now. I, I, I want to ask Republicans out there. Somebody who was raised in the middle class. I, you, you, you've got the, the, the tweets in all caps. The, the ranting and the raving about crazy conspiracy theories. You got the, 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 the two hour speeches, word salad, just, you know, it's like uh, Fidel Castro. Candidates to vote for in this election that demonstrate that kind of character. I remember buying diapers. I, I, I remember the first time I went in the store right after Malia was born. I, I was like, what? That's how much diapers cost. I remember changing diapers. You think Donald Trump ever changed the diaper? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I almost said that, but I decided I shouldn't say it. <laughs> and President Biden and Vice President Harris were down there meeting with local officials and comforting families, asking how they could help. And Donald Trump at a rally just started making up stories about the Biden administration withholding aid from Republican areas and, and siphoning off aid to give to undocumented immigrants, just made the stuff up. Everybody knew it wasn't true. When did that become okay? Why would we go along with that? And, 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 and by the way, I, I, I'm sorry, gentlemen. I, I, I've noticed this especially with some men who seem to think Trump's behavior, the bullying and the putting people down, 
is a sign of strength. And I am, I am here to tell you, that is not what real strength is. It never has been. Real strength is about working hard and carrying a heavy load without complaining. Real strength is about taking responsibility for your actions and telling the truth even when it's inconvenient. Real strength is about helping people who need it and standing up for those who can't always stand up for themselves. That is what we should want for our daughters and for our sons. And that is what I want to see in a president of the United States of America. Get off your couch and vote. Put down your phone and vote. Grab your friends and family and vote. Vote for Kamala Harris as the next president of the United States.